I did. Um, I talked to the Raiders pretty early on. Uh, I talked to them pretty early on, and we had a lot of good conversations um, about me fitting in the defense. Um, we had multiple inter interviews, conversations, talked to uh, Coach Gruden, um, talked to the whole defensive staff, and they, and they just told me, you know, they needed a safety, um, and they were planning to come get me. So, so yeah, I'm super excited. I'm pumped. Hey, Trayvon, it's Tashawn Reed from The Athletic. Uh, congrats. Uh, I know at TCU, you guys played a lot of two high safety looks. Um, you know, Gus Bradley, traditionally, he goes more single high. How do you think you kind of transition to that, that single high role, and that, that kind of center fielder role? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just coming from the, the college I came from, TCU, and, and you know, playing under Coach P, um, allowing him, allowing me to, to play different bu a bunch of different positions, um, especially just roaming um, in the thirds. Um, I, did that, I did that a ton. So um, I think, you know, just with his coaching background um, and him helping me get to this point, um, you know, I think I'll be able to transition pretty well um, going up into Las Vegas. Hey, Trevor, I'm uh, Vinny Monster with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Congratulations. Um, this is a very young secondary uh, that you're coming to. I'm not sure if you've done your homework on the Raiders, uh, but it's a pretty young secondary. Um, do you feel like that help, kind of helps you be able to kind of fit right in with contemporaries uh, that you have? And, and as far as being the leader back there, are, is that something that you, you know, uh, like uh, that part of the game, being a leader of the secondary? For sure. Um, like I said before, coming from TCU, I was a quarterback at the defense. So I feel like, you know, I'm really confident um, coming in and taking that leadership role. Um, commanding the defense, um, taking the reins and, and just leading. Uh, I'm super comfortable with that, um, confident with it, and, and I'm just excited to get started. You offer a bunch of versatility because you have played a multiplicity of places. How much did they talk to you about liking that in your flexibility? Yeah, they talked about it a lot. They said that was the one thing that they really liked uh, about me, um, that they could move me and interchange me um, wherever they needed um, and so that was a big thing for them was just being that that versatility, um, you know, tool belt, tool belt that they needed, uh, filling in a bunch of positions um, and just being able to, you know, just switch out with other people and, and you know, give different looks. Hi, Trevon. I'm Levi Damien from USA Today. Going into the draft, of course, the it seemed by most accounts that you were you were a pretty sure fire first round pick. I don't know if you felt that way. Were you surprised at all that they, they, that didn't happen, that you slipped into the second round? Um, you know, like you said, I, I believe that, you know, that that was going to happen yesterday. Um, but, you know, I didn't let it affect me. Uh, it's a blessing to get, you know, just to be here um, to get this opportunity and, and to play for the Raiders. I just decided to play for the Raiders, man. So, um, you know, slipping into the second is not a big deal. I'm excited. I'm blessed. Trayvon, Levi Edwards with uh, Raiders.com. Of course, uh, you are a Texas native and uh, have grown up and been there your whole life. Uh, what's your initial thoughts on coming to Las Vegas? Do you have any uh, previous experience of ever coming to visit or just kind of your excitement for being in the city just in general? Uh, I've never been up there. Like you said, I'm a Texas boy, but, you know, this, this change is going to be great. I'm excited. I've heard a lot of great things about uh, Las Vegas. Um, you know, obviously the team is great. Uh, Coach Gruden and, and all, the, all the defensive coaches up there. Um, so yeah, I think the transition is going to be smooth. I'm excited to go up there, um, and, and see what it's like up in, in Las Vegas now. Hey, Trayvon, this is uh, Chris Matthews with the CBS affiliate here in Las Vegas. Congratulations. Can I, you you talk about, uh, you're thrilled to be a Raider, what growing up and hearing about the Raiders and some of the Raiders that you may have, I don't know, followed or known about pretty cool. Just maybe talk about that. And then, uh, also just kind of the whole process of doing zoom meetings as opposed to face-on-face -face interviews with coaches and so forth and how difficult was that or challenging or or whatever yeah um some of the names you know that I, especially like Damon Arnett um he, we train with the, with one of the same DB um you know trainers uh, Clay Mack um so he came out and we talked a little bit um he's a great guy uh, and you know we talked about talked a little bit about game and technique and stuff like that um but as far as as far as the uh, interviews and all the zoom calls um, I think it went, you know, smooth. I think it was pretty easy. Um, you know, it just got to the point of, of, you know, repetitiveness, them asking the same questions. And, you, you know, you already kind of know um, what the answer was. Um, so it, it was good. It was smooth. I, I enjoyed the whole process and I, I wouldn't trade it for, for anything. Well, just to kind of clear it up, uh, maybe put it to rest, because this came out right after you got drafted. But as far as the back situation, does it require any kind of procedures at all? And do you feel like you'll be ready uh, as soon as, you guys are allowed to get out there on the field. No, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm 100% uh, back, no problem. Uh, maybe it was just some small way back then. Uh, it's, it's cleared my mind. Um, so I'm ready to go, I'm 100%.
Hey, Jerry Ron, this is Kyle Martin with Raiders.com. There have been a lot of notable defensive backs who have thrived in Gus Bradley's scheme, specifically the Legion of Boom. What do you see yourself doing in that potential fit and just, you know, knowing that the potential is there for you to be a player like those guys? Um, I always just circle back to just being able to play, you know, whatever spot they need me to play. Um, I feel like I, from TCU, I, I always say, you know, they, they put me in a, all the spots um, that you could play. And uh, I've been coached very well um, at each of those positions. And um, like you said, like I said, I feel like where I can step in wherever and just make an impact from day one. This is Hondo Carpenter again. I'm just curious about your thoughts on Gus Badley, the defensive coordinator. He's quite a motivator. What were your conversations with him like? Uh, they were great conversations. Uh, he, he said he was a big fan of my game. Um, loved the way I played defense and, and loved, loved my mentality. I loved the kind of person I was. Um, and it, it was just, you know, excited to get to talk to me and, and, and talk some football. Um, they, they told me they wanted me up here. So, you know, now here I am now, and, and I'm excited. Hey, no, Trayvon, question. I, Go ahead, Chris. Trayvon, can I ask you a little bit about when you think of the Raiders' history and some of the greats that have played here, the silver and black, and you got the hat on. And, I mean, growing up in Texas, I don't know if you were a Cowboys fan or not, but, but what do you think about that Raiders' history and the, the, the rich history of just being a Raider? Man, it's great. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, you know, I know, you know, the whole nine about it, but, um, you know, I've heard a lot of great things about Las Vegas. Um, people meet or people telling me it's a great spot. Um, great team. Like I said, I, I, I'm a big fan of coach Gruden and how he coaches and how he handles his players. Um, his coaching style, I kind of compared to coach P a little bit. So I'm excited to step in there and, and just, like I said, just, just be a Raider, man. That's, that's what the, today is about. Um, and I, I can't even be more thankful or blessed.